Do I regret going to Pepperdine? Hmm. Yeah. I do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Cora. I post videos about beauty, skincare, and so many other topics, including money and student loans. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to see when I upload. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. It helps me out a lot. Before we get started, I do want to thank Merit for sponsoring this video. I have been really struggling mental health wise working from home. It's been about a year and a half for me, and I'm finally getting to the point where I feel like I can start bouncing back and getting back into my routine. I have made getting ready a non-negotiable and it has helped my mental health and kind of feeling back into the routine of life so much. And I've pretty much only been using Merit products. If you don't know, Merit is a minimalist makeup line by Katherine Power. She's an awesome female entrepreneur that I've looked up to for years. And they design really simple, beautiful makeup products that are super effective. I did my makeup today in about five minutes before starting to film this video and I am obsessed with how it turned out. I'm telling you guys, if you've seen my Instagram, you know I talk about them all the time. I am obsessed. I'll also be including a sneaky discount code, so make sure you look out for that. All right, so getting right into it. Do I regret going to Pepperdine? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Now, this video is gonna be kinda all over the place, not gonna lie, because one of the most common questions I get in my Instagram DMs is about my time at Pepperdine, if I regret it, how I'm paying off my student loans, and five years later, if I would still go there. And the short answer is no. Looking back, if I could talk to my younger self, I would say, do not go to a private university, you're gonna regret it. To just get right into it, I think I had blinders on and I thought that if I didn't go to a private university or a well-known university, I wouldn't be successful. And that's just absolutely false. At the end of the day, if you are driven and you work hard, you can absolutely make anything you want happen. I had no formal financial education and I didn't know what life after college would be like paying off student loans, what debt looks like, how much it would impact my life and my savings and my future goals. And while everything I say in this video is my personal opinion and I'm not a financial advisor or professional in any way, my personal opinion is that if you cannot easily afford a private university, you shouldn't go. What I think a lot of people don't understand is student loans and debt will impact your life for years after college. Having student loan debt looming in the back of your mind is crippling. Also, please keep in mind, I'm just using Pepperdine as an example, as that is the university I attended. However, this would apply to pretty much any private university in the United States of America. Now, there were several reasons why I wanted to go to Pepperdine, but the key one was that I knew they had an extremely connected internship program and yes going to school in Malibu did not hurt it was an amazing experience and I had a lot of fun there if I could easily afford Pepperdine and didn't need to take out student loans I would have absolutely gone there without a second thought I waited from Pepperdine in 2017 which is almost five years ago now and when I went there it was extremely expensive it was about sixty thousand dollars a year looking at Pepperdine's website now comparing the cost so the flat rate tuition is sixty thousand dollars Room and board is 16000 Campus life fee is $252. Books and supplies are $1,200. Loan fees are $68. Transportation is $1,000. And personal expenses are $1,500. So the total expenses that you can expect currently as a Pepperdine University student is $80,220 estimated. There are ways to negotiate with the student loan office at your university to waive a lot of those fees and also take out loans to be able to afford a school like this. But in my opinion, $80,000 is absurd. Now, looking at a comparable university that is a public institution, I chose UCLA, which is still much more expensive than other public schools in California. The total California residence tuition on their website is listed as $36,227 per academic year. As you can see, a fantastic school like UCLA, while still expensive, is half the price of Pepperdine. Because when you're 18 or even 21, 22 and transferring to one of these schools, you are not thinking about life after college. Unless your parents ground money values and financial education into you as a child, our school system, grades K through 12, don't really educate people about the value of a dollar and how 
student loans will impact your life. So first I will talk about my student debt and kind of my plan to get out of it and also my professional life. So first looking at my student loans, I was about $50,000 in debt graduating from Pepperdine. I've been super aggressive and intentional about paying off my student loans, so I have about $25,000 total left. I feel like taking a crash course on money through just my living experiences since graduating college, but I honestly did not understand how debt works and what the process of paying my student loans would be like and how hard it would be. I also have private and federal student loans from Pepperdine. Now because of COVID, the United States government has put a pause on student loan interest, which has been a huge blessing for me personally. Different people are strategizing how to pay off their student loans at this time. I'm being super aggressive about my federal loans, so I've been paying them off as usual this whole time, and I've paid off a ton of my debt. So during COVID, I've paid off about three or $4,000 in loans, which is great. Some people are holding off and investing money in other areas. Some are saving all of that money depending on what the Biden administration plans to do about student loan debt. If they plan on canceling any, I personally don't think that's going to happen, but that's just my opinion. Now, I feel really lucky to only have the total that I have left, and I have a roadmap to pay these off within the next couple of years, which I'm super excited about. But that leads to my next point, which is about professional life. Did going to a school like Pepperdine or a private institution help with the success of my career in any way? I feel like that question is twofold. So I've been successful in my career because I have hustled. I feel like Pepperdine definitely gave me privilege and unique opportunities because of their internship program. The team there is awesome and works extremely hard to connect students with successful offices in the Los Angeles area as well as with the study abroad program. So you're getting awesome internship opportunities. However, I worked my tail off to find these internship opportunities to network and connect with people. And looking back, I feel like anyone at any university can do that. If you hustle and are hungry and work hard, you don't necessarily need to go to a private institution with a built-out internship program. And also my friends at my internships all went to public universities, whether it was UCLA, Cal State Long Beach, Cal State Fullerton. I also have a few friends that are over $200,000 in debt from private universities and that makes me so sad because I've worked so hard to get out of $50,000 of debt. I cannot even imagine over $100,000, let alone $200,000. So when you're weighing the pros and the cons, it's also gonna depend on your career path and if you're going to have a job that's gonna pay that much. For example, if you're a software engineer at a major tech company, you're absolutely going to make a salary that you can realistically pay off your student loans. We're just getting your foot in the door. It's very unlikely. So being super intentional about where you're going and why is going to help you a lot after college. Now, I work at a major tech company and I've worked at a couple of them since graduating college. And I want to say I'm one of the few people that I know that went to a private institution. Now, most of my coworkers went to public universities and are just as successful or more successful. I got my first job and my first corporate role at Disney by working at Disneyland and working my way up and then growing from there and a lot of my friends there who did the same thing and kind of followed the same path didn't go to private universities and are very successful. I get so many DMs that break my heart that people can't afford to go to Pepperdine and they feel like they're failures and they don't know what they're going to do. They're scrounging for money and at the end of the day your life is going to continue after you're done with college you're going to have student loan debt. I had no way of knowing. I had no education about money, and this is knowledge that I hope to pass along to other people maybe having the same struggles that I was during that time. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions about college or my school in particular, make sure you ask them. I linked my Instagram below. I'm very responsive to DMs, so make sure you look out for that. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.